Hello, my name is Carlos, and I'd like to thank you for logging into growx.co.uk. And I am here today with Jonathan from Growth Technology. Hello, Carlos. Thank you. Hello. And uh, we're going to talk about a little bit about his company, Growth Technology, and, and some of the historical questions I will ask him regarding, for instance, uh, when was your company formed? Uh, I believe they started formulating hydroponic nutrients in 1984. Um, and the first kind of big breakthrough, really, was the two-part optimum. And then Clonex. Clonex, was, of course, yeah. Clonex was the big one, I think. Yeah, Clonex was 1988. Uh, we came over to the UK in 1992 because mm -hmm. uh, Giles, managing director, and Carl Barry, the scientist, uh, they were based in Australia. In Australia, or New Zealand? Not New Zealand, huh? No, Australia. Ah. What relationship did they have with uh, with uh, New Zealand Hydroponics with Blue Lab? Was that is that sort of just a friendship that they had? I think it's just a close friendship. Yeah, yeah. Because we obviously we're the UK distributors for Blue Lab. Um, but yeah, no, it's just been a, a long-lasting friendship that the guys have had over the last few years. Clonix was the one that Clonix was the product that put uh, uh, Ionic into the map in the U.S. for sure. That was yeah. definitely a winner. Yeah, we uh, basically we form, formulated a two-part nutrient, which was Optimum, mm -hmm. Optimum A and B. Uh, when we came over to the U.K. in 1992, I think Giles saw that there was a lot of two-part nutrients on the market. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know them all, Canna. Mm -hmm. um, any pick of pick of two mm -hmm. nutrients. There's, there's a lot of two part nutrients. So they wanted something that would kind of um, set them apart from the competition. And that's where they they found Ionic really. Um, Giles and, and Carl are the guys that formulated Ionic. Mm -hmm. And obviously it was a bit of a technological breakthrough uh, because they got everything into one bottle. Yeah. Um, and it is a fully formulated nutrient solution. And, and usually, usually the reason why you see two part and three part bottles is because it's really hard, if not impossible sometimes, to place everything in one, into yeah. one bottle until recently. Now, today, we can do that. Yeah. But for a long time, we had to put things into six different bottles at one point. Yeah. That's excellent. So, uh, yeah, so Ionic was 1997, and it's had a bit of a rebrand uh, a few years mm -hmm. ago. Um, and we've jumped on the marketing, obviously with BDUs and things like this, just so you can present it well in stores. I, I'm particular to, uh, I have bias towards Green Haze. I really, lately I've tried it out for the last uh, three months yep. already, and it has produced absolutely white roots. It's designed for uh, recirculating systems, uh, deep water culture systems, NFTs, aeroponics. It was designed as an NFT nutrient. Oh, there you go. There you go. So, what, you know, that's why it was formulated. It's an NFT nutrient. Um, Obviously, very hard standing, mm -hmm. uh, and it's found great success in these deep water culture systems. Yeah, and the nutrients you have to be that to be very stable because they go over these long troughs. Sometimes they warm up in the greenhouse. Yeah. Yeah. you can get that pythium and that root rot. So they got to be really, really nice stable. Nice drift as well. Yes. Jonathan, what exactly is uh, Hydroburst? <laughs> Hydroburst is we've got two products. So we've got Hydroburst, which is five milliliter dilution. And we've got Aquaburst, which is one mil per liter dilution. And what that is, effectively, it's a wetting agent. Uh, it's a surfactant, so you add it to your nutrient solution, and it's going to break the surface tension of your nutrient solution. Mm -hmm. So when you water uh, any pot, uh, soil or cocoa, mm -hmm. then instead of, obviously the water is always going to find the easiest way through the pot. And it's really hard, uh, once like soil is dried out, to re-wet it. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah, yeah. And they start to channel the water. Yeah, channel. channels around it. So what this does, it effectively leaches out and it just wets the whole pot. Mm. So you're effectively making the most of your nutrient solution because it's wetting the whole pot. Yeah, in the States we call that making the water wetter. Something making the water there. wetter, I like that, yeah. That's yeah. interesting. And so, it, yeah, so I would see the use of this mostly in terms of when you have uh, like drip, any kind of yeah, drip, drip systems, because yeah. they don't really, the, the drop keeps falling on the same spot. Yeah. And you usually get the wet spot and you have dry spots around yeah. that. So this will help, this will eliminate some but of the dry spots. Even down to things like hanging baskets, you know, just outside the house. You know, a hanging basket oh, dries out quite quickly. That's so true. you use that and it's just going to retain moisture for longer. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. So, yeah, Growth Technology, we have a full product range from, from propagation through to blooming. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, Clonex, we have all of our additives as well. And pH ups, downs, liquid silicon, liquid oxygen, your conductivity standards, your pH buffers. It really is the full, complete range that we offer. All of our products are batch tested. Mm -hmm. So every time we make a batch, it's got to be within a tolerance. Mm -hmm. And if it's out of the tolerance, then we don't sell it. Simple Excellent. So it's like quality control. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's what we stand for at Growth Technology. Excellent. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. No worries. Thank you.